Hey guys, uh, welcome back to your YouTube channel where we learn something interesting about VBA every day. And if you have seen my yesterday's video, uh, we have done a video on do while loops. And today we are going to do do until loop. So let's check it out. As you can see on my screen, uh, I right now have the uh, title which we are going to cover today. And I'll show you the same example uh, which we did yesterday so that you guys can correlate and understand the difference between do while and do until loops. Okay, so right now uh, you're seeing the same numbers uh, from one to eight uh, on my screen. And if I open my VB editor, you can open your um, by pressing Alt and F11. And if you don't know how to insert a new module, you can click on Insert and add a module. I'm going to use uh, the module that I already have, uh, which I used in yesterday's video, uh, which has the do while loop also available. I have kept it here deliberately so I can explain you guys the difference between the two. So as you can see, uh, right now, uh, the most of the code will look similar to you. Uh, like I'm starting with I uh, as an integer. So same here. Uh, I'm just changing the rows so the number is different. Like I started yesterday from 11 and today I'm starting from 14. So it doesn't make much difference. But yeah, anyways, you will change this as per your project. And now if you see, I'm here first writing do while and then I have written the condition, right? So uh, the do while macro will keep on working till the time the condition is met. Whereas in the uh, do until loop, this is a reverse of it. So do until loop will work till the time condition is not met, right? So in my case, uh, if you see, uh, yesterday we were doing if C is not equal to blank, then we are doing something, right? But today's code you will see I have changed it to C is equal to blank. So that means as soon as the macro will find a blank row, it will stop. Whereas yesterday uh, in the do while case, we were doing if it's not blank, then you want to run it. So again, if if we have to stop, so it will stop when it finds the blank cell. So that is where you use do until loop, right? Apart from that, you would be noticing that the entire code is same, uh, doesn't make, I haven't made any other change, all the things are same. So instead of not equal to, I have done equal to, because as I said, it works in the reverse way, the do until works in the reverse way of do while. So that's the only thing I have changed. And so I also explained you how you can use it. Now I'll just show you how we can run this code. Um, so I have already run this, uh, run this, but I'll just delete this and bring this macro here so you can see how this is running one by one. So I'm pressing F8 to step run. Right, so in the first case, it will check C14. If C14 is blank, then it will move on to the, uh, if C14 is not blank, it will move on to the next line. So it multiplied the first value with 10, and now it will move to the next line, which is C15, okay? So if C15 is blank, right, so if, if it is not blank, it will move on. Otherwise, if it's fine blank, it will stop. So do until you find something. So the uh, conditions can be different in your project, but this is how the basic functionality is. I'll just press F5. So as you can see, all the values are found uh, by multiplying into 10 as what I have done here. And uh, it stopped as soon as it, it reached here. So as soon as it reached row 22, which is blank, so do until you find a blank row. So that's how I have programmed. 
I hope uh, this is going to be useful for you. And if you feel this is going to be useful for you, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to learn this amazing stuff. And don't forget to share it with your friends, family, so they can also learn and support me also. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.